ಬಿಎಸ್ಎನ್ಎ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆನ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬಾರೆಟ್ರಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈಬ್ರೋ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿಸ್ ಫಿನ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಡಯೋಡ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸೆಟಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟೂಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಮೈಸ್ಡ್ ಸೆಟಪ್ ಟು ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಿಹೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಆನ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ರೋಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಡೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫೈಬರ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಕವರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ರೋಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಕನೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಪಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಸ್ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫೈಬರ್ ಪಿ ಓ ಎಫ್ ಕೇಬಲ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಫೈಬ್ರೋ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ಎ ಪಿನ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಡಯೋಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಫೋಟೋ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಪವರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸರೀಸ್ ರೆಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಓರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಪಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಕೇಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಮೆಲ್ ಸೆಟಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಲ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಫೋರ್ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಸೀವರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದ ಟೂ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫೈಬರ್ ಕೇಬಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇನ್ ಅಪ್ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಟೆರ್ಮಿನೇಟೆಡ್ ಫೈಬರ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ದ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿಸ್ ಡೆಸಿಗ್ನೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಓ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಫ್ ಓ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿ ಏಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಡ್ರಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಕಲ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯೋಮೀಟರ್ ದ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ವಿ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಪಿಯರ್ ವಿ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಶೋರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಆ್ಯನೋಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಥೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಬಯಾಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಓ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಡ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಟೆರ್ಮಿನಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ವಿ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿ ಏಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಫ್ ಓ ಎಲ್ ಇ ಡಿ ಏಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್
the photo current of the reverse bias f4 pin diode resulting from light incident on its active photosensitive surface is measured by recording the voltage vp in across r in 1 r in 1 is fixed at 10 kilo ohm in our experiment Likewise, the photo current of the F4 phototransistor is measured by recording the voltage VPT across R into R into is fixed at 100 ohm. In this slide, we can able to see about the what is the specification for F4 phototransistor, particularly in the wavelength of 400 nanometer to 1100 nanometer it is specified by the different parameters such as peak responsivity spectral range dark current sensitivity and breakdown voltage for ce and ec breakdown voltage rise fall time case dimension electrical leads and ordering code and this is our specification of the fiber optic cable for photo pin diode and it is also summarized by the some special parameter is listed out here started from the sensitivity and ended with the ordering code next we are going to detail this study about the, the conversion of the power in this experiment power measurement the optical port pw facilitates measurement of optical power decibels dbm referred to 1 milliwatt the voltage in millivolt at the electrical terminals pw divided by 10 directly gives bw in dbm as an example minus 100 millivolt measured across pw is equivalent to minus 10 dbm of optical power this when converted to a linear value corresponds to 0 0.1 milliwatt or 100 microwatt of optical power it is to be noted that the optical power meter has been calibrated at 660 nanometer the power meter readings for other wavelength will have to be corrected manually as described later and this is our optical fiber cable the leds are connected to the receiver side through a one meter pmma cable terminated with sma connectors the loss in the cable has to be taken into account to compute the optical power output at the led ports it is to be noted that optical fiber loss varies with wavelength corrections for spectral sensitivity are to be applied to obtain pc or covered in the upcoming slide all optical connections may please be done with extreme care as improper use can damage the cable as well the device permanently and this is our sma connectorized spacic optical fiber cables and component the general information is given in this slide it is characterized in the many type of the optical cable such as sma sma connectorized pmma cable sma connectorized led at wavelength 660 nanometer similarly 850 nanometer and 950 nanometer and sma connectorized photo transistor 400 nanometer to 1100 nanometer similarly sma connectorized photo pin diode 400 nanometer to 1100 nan nanometer but in this experiment we are using the sma sma connectorized pmma cable in this slide we can able to see about the what is the specification of the pmma cable so the specification is listed out by the following parameters core material cladding material fiber structure core cladding diameter core refractive index cladding refractive index numerical aperture acceptance angle attenuation at 660 nanometer and jacket material 
and this is our spectral attenuation of the PMMA cable. So this diagram shows why we are choosing the PMMA cable instead of other cable because the attenuation is very very less of this cable. And this is our cable ordering information. So we already choose the PMMA cable. The PMMA cable it is also incorporated with the SMA SMA connectors with the following version that is 0 0.5, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 and 5.0. Depends upon the application we can able to use the PMA any one of the PMMA cable along with this version. So next we are going to see about the what is the procedure for measurement with the tester LPS44. LPS44 is set up as shown in the schematics. Measurement will be done using 2 or 3 DMMS. The readings will be recorded in a single table. Table 2.1 for the purpose of analyze this more tables will be constructed from this table. Step 1. Power the system up. Connect a digital multimeter that is DMM across V reference in the range 2000 millivolt. Adjust set if now and set V or F that is V reference to 1000 millivolt. This corresponds to on IF of 10 milliamp in the FO LEDs. Connect one end of the fiber optic cable to the FO LED 660 port. Step 2. Record the VF for FO LED 660. And third step. Connect the other end of the fiber optic cable to the PW port. Note the power meter reading PW. Please note that PW in dBm that is equivalent to PW millivolt divided by 10. And step 4. Next shift the optical fiber cable from the PW to the FO pin port and record VPN. Step 5. Now shift the optical fiber cable from FO pin to the FO PT port and record VPT. Step 6. Repeat step 2 to step 6. Other values of IF ranging from 1 milliampere to 30 milliampere. And step 7. Repeat the above step for FO LED 850. So in this table we are rec recording all the important parameter VF, PW, VPIN and VPT for both FO LED 660 and FO LED 850. IF readings may be selected to cover the full range of the FO LEDs. It may be noted that PW increases by 3 dB when IF is doubled in the linear range. It is also may be noted that PW increases by 10 dB when if increases by 10 times in linear region. In this section we are going to see about the analysis of recorded DC measurement. New tables are created from table 2.1 to study all the DC parameters of the optoelectronic devices under consideration. The first part is the 3.1 that is the forward voltage of F4 light emitting diodes. From a quick look at the table 3.1.1 it is observed that VF of F4 light emitting diodes increases with the forward current IF. This is as expected. It is also observed that VF is different for different wavelength. This is also as expected. VF assumes significance in that the overall power conversion efficiency of an LED is inversely proportional to it. The overall power conversion efficiency of an FO LED is given by eta C 
that is equivalent to PC divided by PE where PC is the optical power in milliwatt milli coupled to the optical fiber and PE is the electrical power across the device. In the present context, PE that is equivalent to VF into IF, detailed discussion on this aspect is covered in upcoming slide. In realization of practical electronic LED drive circuit, VF is a parameter that needs close attention. With use of low voltage power supplies in modern circuits, VF itself may be close to the system power supply. Display of VF in some communication systems facilitate monitoring of optical power output from on FO LED. This is our typical graph drawn between VF and IF. The plot 3.1.1 represents a typical VF-IF curve from one of our standard tester LPS44. As will be observed from the graph, VF increases gradually but non-linearly with IF. The band gap for FO LED 660 is higher than that of FO LED 850. This is reflected in the VF of the LEDs. By monitoring VF of a LED used in a communication circuit, it is possible to directly determine its optical power output from this plot. This is the in inference which we are taking from this graph. So next we are going to see about the coupled optical power PC and conversion efficiency of FO LEDs. The optical power coupled into the cable PC at the FO LED port for a given IF is an important parameter in designing communication systems. Most FO LEDs have a region where the coupled optical power PC is linearly related to the forward current IF. Analog optical transmission system employ this region for distortion free transmission of analog signals using linear intensity modulation IM techniques. Two wavelengths namely 660 nanometer and 850 nanometer have been selected for our studies. 660 nanometer is a standard operating wavelength for PMMA FO cables with losses in the region 0.15 to 0.2 dB per meter. 850 nanometer is better suited for class multimode fiber with a core cladding ratio of 50 divided by 125 and 62.5 divided by 125 microns with losses less than 3 to 4 dB per kilometer. In our studies, we have chosen on 850 nanometer LED despite a loss of 2.2 dB per meter in a PMMA fiber. Only for the purpose of comparison with a 660 nanometer LED. To compute PC, we need to apply two correction to PW which is the power incident at the power meter port. Firstly, the loss in the connecting cable is to be corrected for. Loss in the cable is dependent on the cable length and wavelength of the FO LED. Secondly, spectral sensitivity corrections for the power meter sensor are to be applied. The optical power meter has been calibrated at the 660 nanometer. For other wavelengths, suitable correction ought to be applied. These are discussed later in this upcoming slide. In this analyze, we will study the linearity of PC as a function of IF in three ways. Firstly, we will plot DBM versus IF on a semi-logarithmic graph sheet and study the linearity. And secondly, to study the linearity on a linear scale, we will convert PC in dBm 
into its linear equivalent value in microwatts and flat PC microwatt versus IF on a linear graph. The linear optical power coupled into the fiber PC microwatt is computed from this equation. PC microwatt that is equivalent to log of power 1 in bracket 0 0.1 into PC dBm in 2000. Thirdly, to study the linearity on a linear scale, we will use the VPN versus IF data recorded for the pin diode. Please note that the optical power meter sensor and FO pin diode employed in the experiment are identical. The linear optical power coupled into the fiber is given by PC that is P dash C microwatt that is equivalent to K into VPN milliamps. We obtain K by solving equation number 1 and equation number 2 for a representative value of IF say 10 milliamps that falls in the mid linear region of FO LED. The dimensions of K is current. We will designate K 660 and K850 for FO LED 660 and FO LED 850 respectively. In this analysis, we will also assess the overall power conversion efficiency of the FO LED. A small fraction of the electrical energy is converted to the optical power. The electrical power across the FO LED is given by the equation number 3 that is PE that is equivalent to IF into VF. The overall power conversion efficiency as a percentage is given by eta PC that is equivalent to PC divided by PE into 100 which is indicated in the equation number 4. So in this table we are summarizing the many component that is the coupled power PC and conversion efficiency of FO LED 660. Note that the power meter is calibrated by the manufacturer at 660 nanometer to read optical power directly in TBM and hence requires no correction for spectral sensitivity. And second note is the typical loss in a PMMA cable is around 0.18 dB per meter at 660 nanometer with a connector loss of 0.2 dB. We assume a total cable loss of 0.4 dB for the 660 nanometer LED for a 1 meter PMMA cable and node 3 K660 will be computed at IF sequent to 10 milliamps. In the example, K660 is calculated in terms of milliampere. In this table, we are summarizing the parameter as coupled power PC and conversion efficiency of FO LED 850. So here we are noting the two important three important thing. The first one, the spectral sensitivity of the power meter detector at 850 nanometer is plus 1.5 dB as compared to the third 660 nanometer. A correction of minus 1.5 dB is hence applied. And note to loss per meter of PMMA fiber at 850 is 2.2 dB. We assume a total loss of 2.4 dB for a 1 meter PMMA cable. Manufacturers of PMMA cable do not specify fiber attenuation at 850 nanometer as the losses above 700 nanometer are very high. The loss shown here is a derived from measurements made with a 5 meter and 10 meter reference cables at 850 nanometer. And note 3 will be K850 will be computed at IFSC equivalent to 10 milliamps. In this example, 
K850 measured in terms of milliampere. From table 3.2.1 and table 3.2.2, we plot the following graphs, plot 3.2.1, plot 3.2.2 and plot 3.2.3. Plot 3.2.1 and plot 3.2.2 pertain to the linearity of the coupled optical power width IF. Plot 3.2.3 plot pertains to the overall conversion efficiency of the LEDs against IF. All computation in the tables have been done using MS Office Excel and all graphs have been plotted employing the free graph software. So in this slide, we can able to see about the how the graph drawn between the coupled optical power PC versus forward current K. The inference of the graph is the above is the plot of a typical set of FO LEDs operating at 660 nanometer and 850 nanometer. IF is represented on a log X axis. PC DBM is on a linear Y axis. From the graph, it is clear that the PC varies linearly with IF over a wide range in both the FO LEDs. The two curves run almost parallel to the entire range of measurement. This plot drawn between the coupled optical power PC and versus forward current IF. The inference of this graph, plot 3.2.2 compresses four curves namely PC in microwatt and P-C microwatt for FO LED 660 and FO LED 850 represented on the linear Y axis against IF represented on the X axis. It may be noted that except for minor deviations the coupled power PC or P-C vary linearly with IF. Over the IF range of 2 to 20 milliamps, the pin diode and sensor of the optical power meter have identical linear properties. Except for 1 meter with the FO LED 660 nanometer at 24 milliamps. This could even be due to a measurement error. The slope in the as usual linear intensity modulation IM range of IF is equal to 5 milliamps to 15 milliamps is 65 microwatt per milliamps for FO LED 660. The corresponding slope for FO LED 850 is 24 microwatt per milliamps. This graph drawn between the overall power conversion efficiency eta versus forward current IF. The inference of graph is plot 3.2.3 gives a linear representation of the overall conversion efficiency of optical coupled power as a function of the FO LED forward current. It may be seen that for FO LED 660 over a wide range of the current remains flat and constant. However, with increasing current, we observe a drop for the FO LED 850. Over the IF range of 5 milliamps to 15 milliamps, Eta is approximately 0.33 percentage for FO LED 660, whereas for FO LED 850, it is around 0.19 percentage. So next, we are going to analyze the DC characteristics of FO pin diode and FO PT. The FO pin photo diode and the FO photo transistor are two parallel optical detectors used in low and optical communication systems. These devices have varying spectral range, spectral photosensitivity, dark current, radiant sensitive area, etc. 
In both devices, the photo current varies linearly with the incident optical power over a specified operational region. This facilitates use of this device in demodulation of intensity modulated incident optical input. While a photo transistor, when configured as an emitter follower, provides for high photo current IPT and optimum bandwidth, the photo current from on F4 pin diode, that is I pin is much lower, but it is facilitates high speed operation due, due to its low junction capacitance. The phototransistor when configured as on emitter follower with a load resistance R in 2 will be satisfactorily for most IM demodulation application. In experiment R in 2 that is equal to 100 ohm, the photodiode will require a free amplifier stage. In this experiment, we have used only a resistor R in 1 that is equal to 10 kilo ohm. In this analysis, we will study the photo current of FO pin, I pin and FOPT, IPT as function of incident optical power P in at the respective port. P in will be derived from PW taking into account the correction record for spectral sensitivity of the optical power meter. So in this table, we are summarizing the photo current of FO pin diode and FOPT at 660 and 850 nanometer. So here we have to note the important thing that is the spectral sensitivity of the power meter detector at 850 nanometer is plus 1.5 dB as compared to that at 660 nanometer. A correction of minus 1.5 dB is hence applied. The above tables have readings drawn from table 2.1. And this is the plot drawn between the photo current of FO pin diode and PT versus optical power pin. The inference of the graph is plot 3.3.1. Displays the response of the FO pin diode and FPPT to incident optical power at 660 nanometer and 850 nanometer. While the linear incident power P in is shown on the x axis, the photo currents from the FO pin diode and FOPT are displayed on the y axis. On the y axis, the photo current I pin is in microamps. Please note that on y axis, the photo current IPT is in milliamps. The common feature of all the four graphs is that the photo current varies linearly with the optical input power. For 660 nanometer, the slopes of the curve for FO pin and FOPT in the P in range of 70 to 90 microwatt are 0.5 microampere per microwatt and 185 microampere per microwatt respectively. It may be seen that the current gain of the FOPT is 370 times that of the FO pin diode at 660 nanometer. For 850 nanometer, the slopes of the curve for FO pin and FOPT at pin that is P in 20 microwatt are 0.5 microampere per microwatt and 190 microampere per microwatt respectively. Thank you. So hope you all enjoy this video. So based on the the full elaboration section of the tested LPS44. So using that experiment, you can detailedly analyze the, the DC characteristics of the pin photo diode and pin photo transistor. I thank the EC department, PSNA CET, and also thank the 
Telenet system, MS equipment and FTP team for their entire support to lead this program in grand success. Thank you one and all watching this video.